Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. So a lot of you guys already know me from TikTok. I have an account. You guys can go follow that. It's right here. And a lot of you also know me from my business account, which is right there. Today, I'm going to be doing a video that has done really well on TikTok, but you guys kind of want a more long-winded version. So this is going to be the ultimate guide on how to become an influencer. I started my TikTok only five months ago and I have gained 95,000 followers and more. And I'm going to tell you guys literally exactly what I did tips and tricks that no one is gonna tell you for your videos to get engagement, and some little things that make the biggest difference in your content that you should do and that you shouldn't do. Buckle up because by the end of this video, you are going to know exactly what you need to do to become a successful influencer. All you have to do is just put in the time. This is just a PSA in general. All of these influencers that are telling you you need to post a certain amount of times per day, they're lying to you. All of these influencers that are telling you, oh, Oh, hop off the app as soon as you post. Stay on the app as soon as you post. Make sure you're posting between 9 to 5 on Tuesday. That's all bullcrap. I never once posted at a specific time of day. There will be days that I post like two videos and there will be days that I post six videos. It doesn't matter. So don't let that guide you. Just do whatever you want. In all honesty, do whatever you want. But post consistently and post every day. Even if it's one video per day to start out, post every single day. Because the way I view it is not all of your followers are going to see all of your videos. So in order to gain followers and stay relevant, you need to post a lot so certain followers can see certain videos. All right, step one on being an influencer is picking your niche, which I'm sure most of you already do. Me personally, that is fashion if you want to do like health food, sports. Just pick what you're interested in and pick about the things that you want to talk about. If it's not something you want to talk about, then it's probably not something you're going to find success with. So once you have your niche picked out, you're going to want to start by creating your profile and making quality videos. So first, let me tell you what makes a good video. Number one, lighting. You want to have good lighting. I'm sitting at my desk right now. I have a big vanity mirror that I'll show you guys. This is my mirror that I use. I got it from Amazon for maybe $50 and I use it in every single TikTok and every single YouTube video I post and I find a lot of success with it. It makes my videos appear more attractive. It makes me look more attractive and ultimately you just really, really want a good source of lighting. You can get a ring light too. I have a couple linked in my Amazon storefront if you want to go check those out. You can also rely on natural lighting, but I find this is just much more easy and you don't have to rely on shadows and this and that. This just, I know I'm gonna get a good video if I sit here and film. The second thing that makes a good video is a good caption. Now, the first three seconds of your TikTok is the most important. So meaning you're gonna wanna have a hook. You can do this however you want. Essentially, all this means dumbed down is that all you need to do is tell your viewers exactly what they're gonna see in that video in the first three seconds. If you're doing a hair tutorial, don't take 10 seconds to explain that it's a hair tutorial. Start your hair tutorial with, hey guys, Watch how I do my hair. They know exactly what they're gonna be watching. So get to the point. Do not make intros talking and yapping about things that don't have anything to do with the video. Get to the point. When it comes to the caption up top, keep it simple, keep it black and white font. Don't overdo it because when you overdo it, it's honestly just harder to read. So for me, I always just do a little black and white with a couple emojis. Don't overthink your captions. Be specific and straight to the point. Another thing is don't use filters. Filters are such a turnoff if you're trying to be a serious influencer. If you're using like hazel eyes or any other TikTok filter, it's a turnoff and I personally will not watch it. That obviously doesn't make the biggest difference, but that's just a tip I would share for you. Okay, I know that was a lot to take in. So if you wanna go back and just kind of make sure you got your points of a quality video down, that's that. You know what makes a quality video. Now let's move on to how to create quality content and how you're going to build a following with that information. So the most important thing about being an influencer is being able to present yourself on social media. Talk to your camera, talk to your audience. People are going to want to follow you for you and they're going to want to follow you because of the information you're sharing and because of who you are. Don't be afraid to talk to the camera. Do not be afraid to make videos showing yourself because if you don't make sh videos showing yourself, you're not going to do well. You need videos of your face. You need videos of you talking to the camera. Your faceless videos are not going to go viral. You need to be the focal point of all of your videos. So all of that dumbed down, make videos talking to your camera. And when you do talk to your camera, don't be like, Hey guys, 
this is what I have for a haul. Give me tone, give me energy, give me your personality. Okay, so the second tip of building a following is going to be making savable content. And I know a lot of you have heard me say this before, but you need savable content as in informational videos. Before you post a video, I want you to sit down and I want you to ask yourself, is this something that someone would click the save button on and come back to? Think about that for a second. Personally, I like saving videos of outfit ideas, maybe makeup routines, hair tips and tricks, different hacks. Things that are informational and things that are educational are going to get you followers. So share something you're good at. If you're good at makeup, make a makeup routine. Share products that you like. If you're good with fashion, share clothes you like. My most viral videos are always informational, talking about where I buy my clothes, what outfits I like to wear, my bikini collection, my skirt collection, stores that I love, stores that I hate, how I make money online. It's all educational videos that go viral. So now that you know to make savable content, that being said, don't jump into making day in my life videos and get ready with me videos unless you're doing something really interesting. And that may sound a little harsh, but no one is going to be invested in some random girl or guy's life on TikTok unless you're doing something crazy. So wait until you build a following to start doing day in the life videos or little morning routines, stuff like that. That's stuff that you're gonna wanna save for when you actually have followers that are invested in your life. So if you're just starting out, please trust me when I tell you informational content and hop on some trends. That is the best way to start. So another tip is to obviously get comfortable when talking to a camera and that honestly, it takes time. I've been filming myself since I was 13 years old. And as you guys can tell, my camera presence is, is pretty good. I can talk to you guys like I'm talking to a family member or a friend on FaceTime. So if I were you and you're shy on camera and you're kind of uncomfortable looking when you talk to the camera, every day, I want you to set your camera up in front of you and just film yourself talking. Tell your camera about your day. Don't post it. You can post it if you want to but just practice talking to a camera and then delete the footage because it's good practice and it'll get you more comfortable. It will help you in the long run. My last little tip is that when you're filming something, wear something you think someone's gonna comment about or add a little something that's controversial into your video. And that might seem a little counterintuitive, but if you get some sort of thing in your video to get people talking, to get people commenting, that is going to get you a shit ton of engagement and that is going to get you followers. So that's just some general tips and tricks that I use to grow a following. So now let me get specifically into the things that made me 95,000 followers, because I think these things can really help you guys too. So that last tip I told you about wearing something or saying something controversial, one of my videos that went super, super viral and that got me thousands of followers was talking about clothing brands that I hate. And I would always throw in stores that I don't actually hate. I would just throw them in because I knew they were popular. I said that I hated Bath & Body Works. I said that I hated American Eagle. I don't hate those brands. I just said that because I knew it was gonna spark up conversation in the comment section. And it did. Those videos got millions of views. You need something to spark conversation. So try that and comment below. Let me know how it works for you. Another semi-controversial thing that I mentioned, I mentioned that I make six figures at 17 years old. And that's a hook right there. That gets people to watch my video because everyone's like, the hell no, she doesn't. It gets people talking. You need something that gets people talking. So think about that next time you make a video. I reply to probably every comment and I like sharing a lot of behind the scenes details of my life. Like I'll do little vlogs. If, if anyone asks for a video, I will make it. If someone comments saying make a hair care routine, I will make it. I really want to like build a connection with my followers. That's always kind of been my number one priority. And those are just a couple of little things that I did. And I'm gonna do a list of video ideas that I think you guys can do. So if you're a fashion girly like me, you can do clothing stores you hate, stores you love, stores you want to shop at, smaller stores you just discovered, where your clothes are from. That could be like shorts, pants, swimsuits, shirts how to style an outfit, outfit ideas for summer, outfit ideas for winter, my spring break shopping list, what I have coming in the mail. 
things on my wish list. Makeup products I love, makeup products I hate, hair products I love, hair products I hate, products that changed my life, something I wouldn't repurchase, something I would repurchase, finds on Amazon, stuff like that that people are going to save and come back to. Those are just some of my top tips and tricks that have helped me grow a following to now almost 100,000 followers. If you guys want to go follow me on TikTok, I linked my account below and it's also right here at Tay Rankin. I share a lot of more tips and tricks and a lot of more like behind the scenes things in my life that I think you guys would enjoy if you like this video. So comment below any questions. I am here to help you guys because it's 2024. We all have room to grow here. And leave comments below if you guys want fashion videos on here or more informational videos and what you want to hear from me because I want to share stuff with you guys. Subscribe down below and make sure to give this a video a like if you thought any of this was helpful. I really appreciate all of you guys.